Well, these are three of the cars that starred in the new James Bond film, Spectre. You know, we got a call from Sam Mendes saying he wanted to put our vehicles in the film. I've got a team of uh, car nuts back at, back at the ranch who couldn't resist the uh, temptation of getting involved. I think we lent him about 22 cars for the film. We lent him the cars, he was kind enough to give them back to us, but you can see the condition we got them back in. So, uh, yeah, that's what they are. Yeah, they were. these cars were all fairly um, specifically made, heavily modified for the, uh, for the film. They're stunt cars, basically. We work closely with the, the stunt team. Um, it's part of the Bond movie, and uh, they tell us what they're going to do with the cars. We kind of start sweating and think, wow, OK, and then, um, that's what you see. Well, I guess the uh, the key the key launch for the show was the Jaguar F-Pace. You know, Jaguar is on a huge evolution as a brand. Um, we've launched the new XE, the XF, and now the F-Pace. 15% up year on year sales wise. So the Jaguar business is really moving. My particular business, Special Operations, we're bringing well actually eight of the cars on this stand. Eight of the 13 are my cars. Um, Probably the most significant one is the Range Rover SV Autobiography. So at Special Operations, what we do is push the boundaries in terms of luxury, on-road performance and off-road performance. And the SV Autobiography is all, all about that luxury, luxury positioning of Range Rover. Dubai is actually a really important market for both Jaguar and Land Rover. Um, you know, you just have to look on the streets here to see the cars. The, the market is full of car enthusiasts and we make cars that car enthusiasts like. So. Um, so it's very important, it's very significant, and I think in particular the F-Pace is a car that will really help to build Jaguar's profile in the market.